Hi everyone, happy Halloween. Well, this week we had some high winds. Took out one of my very favorite Kellogg's breakfast tomato plants. So job for today is to short back up. Jerry's gonna give me a hand. We've gotta get some more tomatoes before the weather gets too cold. So I was just looking at the stem here to see uh, if it broke or not. And thank goodness the stem is intact. So good sign that the tomato plant is gonna make it, but the cage, that's a whole nother story. I definitely should have used a heavier duty cage. What I have here is two tomato cages from the store that are kind of hooked together. But uh, this is a really heavy duty uh, plant here. The Kellogg's breakfasts are super heavy and this cage was just not enough. So we'll definitely correct that for next year. Jerry, you wanna grab the stakes? Cause I think we're, we're gonna need to install those as we pull the cage up. First things first, let's pull the cage up. Look at Ooh. this. Camera guy, got the GoPro. Oh yeah. Get some good shots with that. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put this prong in the ground. Oh. Wow, there's lots of yellowing and brown leaves on here. Okay, so I'm not sure if the T-post or the stake will work the best. Why don't you grab both of them? We'll see what's gonna fit down here in the cage. You have it? Yeah, I got it. Okay, which one do you want? Okay. The T-post with the notch, I think will be hard to slide in the red cage here. So let me try the stake first. All right, so if you wanna come back around here and give me a hand. Because it's on a hill, just gravity always takes these plants down. Oh, what do you think? Still tipping, huh? I don't think it's gonna be quite enough. Well, I'm gonna grab the T-post and see if that might be a little bit of extra support. Okay, How's the that? Yeah, the T-post was definitely the ticket here. That is nice and sturdy now. This is not falling over. Really happy with how sturdy this T-post is. I do not think this thing is coming down in the next windstorm. Jerry, thank you so much for helping me out here yep. this morning. The cool thing is there are a ton of flowers still in this plant. These flowers are massive. So I think that we are still gonna have quite a few tomatoes here Yay. on this plant over the winter time. It's gonna be fun. And look at all the tomatoes. I noticed. Tomato here, tomato down here. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh, did you see that? I just saw it. Whoa, that is a giant hornworm. Oh. This guy is massive. He is just munching away. These guys are like ugly, but beautiful. You can pull them off your plant if you want to, but they really hang on to the uh, leaves. So what I do is just snip the whole branch off. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's crazy. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, huge. So let me go down to the front, check out uh, if there's any damage to the front of the plant. And then what I'd really like to do is get this plant trimmed up, looking better, so we can support it for the rest of the winter time. So lots of yellowing leaves, lots of browning, which is pretty common for this time of the year. So we'll just take off all the damaged leaves, anything that's yellow or brown or spider mite. See the webs there, so small. But those can just take your plant out in no time. So we're gonna be taking off quite a bit, but the plant then will be able to send all of its energy into producing new tomatoes. Sometimes it's worth it to try and save a plant and sometimes it's not. But in this case, because it's my favorite, I'm definitely gonna put a little bit more effort into saving this one. Now right now the tomatoes will probably ripen really slowly because the nights have been like in the 40s and 50s. What we might end up doing too is just taking some of them in the house to ripen up. As soon as they start to turn just a little bit, you can take them inside, either ripen them on the counter or put them in a paper bag to help speed up the ripening process. I'm gonna trim out some of the branches from the bottom too, just to give the tomato plant some more airflow. It's always nice to start the day off in the garden and to get something accomplished. I think it looks so much better. It's leaning back just a little bit, but that'll help it from leaning forward when we get some wind. So camera guy, great job. You got it. So let me know if anything's going on in your garden, if you're losing any tomato plants to the wind or to the weather. And I am running a clearance sale this weekend, 35% off with the code OCTOBERFEST over at CaliKimGardenAndHome.com. Applies to seed collections only. Have a happy and safe Halloween. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. I'm gonna trim out some of the plants. Let's try again. Three, two, one, action. Thanks for watching. Have a happy... <laughs> <laughs> You need breakfast. <laughs>